Okay. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Sunday Stamping with Susan and Julie. My name is Susan LaCroix. This is my daughter, Julie Davison. We've been demonstrators with stamping up for almost 20 years. Julie has an anniversary coming up here in the not too distant future. We live in a couple states away. We rarely get to stay up together, even when we're together. And yeah. <laughs> right. So That's we just try. It is true. So we decided to um, get together and stamp projects and share them with you. So here we are. And I believe this is week number 37. I've kind of lost track, but it has been so much fun to do this every week and to connect. And we only record like a portion of, <laughs> of our Zoom conversation because we always talk a little before and a little bit after. And like, it's been so nice to always have this catch up time because I feel like even, um, I don't know, there are some weeks where we just talk to each other like every day, it seems like. And there's other weeks where it, we go days without talking. So I love that Sunday stamping is just our chance to catch up and chat and stamp together and share. This has just been so awesome. I'm so glad. How did it take us so long to start it? I don't know, but I'm glad that we're doing it. Well, it was your brilliant idea. So there, hey. Before we go any further, inquiring minds want to know, and if you watched us last week, oh. we have a special <laughs> guest with us. So I want to know, did Thomas sign up? <laughs> yes, he did. <laughs> he did sign up. We filmed a video of him getting his starter kit. So if you want to know what that looks like, you can check that out. And his starter kit came. So he's going to do an unboxing video um, tomorrow evening and show everybody what comes in the starter kit. And I'm kind of excited because it's been 20 years since I got a starter kit. And so I don't know, like what comes in it. I'm kind of excited to, um, to see and to experience through, through him opening the starter kit for the first time. I remember almost 20 years ago when my starter kit arrived. In fact, it actually was delivered to the wrong address, but oh. I was, I was so expecting it. And so I'd been tracking it and the tracking number said that it was delivered. And so I don't, there, there wasn't pictures or anything like that. Like they do sometimes now with the porch, but, um, it must have been, we got a, a call from somebody or somebody came, it was delivered to the next street over and that person brought it to us because it was labeled uh, correctly. So they brought it to the door and I was like, oh yeah, I was so excited. So <laughs> it was like a bit of a moment. And um, Thomas, he, we were trying to figure out when to do his unboxing and we went on and checked the tracking number. And, um, and then it said that it was coming like that day. And I was like, oh, it's coming today. And I was like, wait a second, dad brought in some packages and it was already in the house and we hadn't even like realized it. So I love it. We're, we're so excited and I, I just can't wait. Hopefully he'll join us as a guest, maybe on a, on a Sunday stamping in the future, but he's going to be doing some um, videos and especially for paper pumpkin and really focusing on kits and that kind of stuff. So, it's so I'm just thinking about how many demonstrators we have in our family, right? <laughs> so Thomas makes number five. He does make number five. So I always you. say that Stampin' Up! has been a family affair. And over the course <laughs> of 20 years, the current yeah. five demonstrators, right? Me and you and Thomas and Amy, my sister, and Angie, my sister-in-law. But oh. also in the past, my other sister-in-law, Kathy, okay. and my other sister, Yvonne, have both been demonstrators throughout the years. So it's kind yeah. of it's kind of fun. And I know as we continue to um, you know, grow that. Claire will end up joining as a demonstrator and um I, I don't know about the other girls Anna definitely at some point but she still has her <laughs> several more years um to get there but it's been so much fun we need just like a, a family stamping retreat we need to just like <laughs> schedule that and and do that all the all the stampers in the family can can get away for the weekend and then we'll have guaranteed time stamping <laughs> yes well, we should get started. 
<laughs> I feel like we could just gab and gab and gab. Let's switch the camera over to my desktop and we'll see what we're going to do today. I'm going to add another light here. There we go. Maybe that's too much light. Um, okay, so celebration is going on and until the end of February. So today is February. 13th. And so there's just like two more weeks of celebration and then it's over. And I feel like it's gone so fast. Don't you feel like that? Oh, absolutely. It, absolutely. January always is sort of just like a blur trying to like recover from the holidays. And so I feel like February is like the really time to dig in, but now celebration is only two months, January and February. So um, today we are spotlighting two of our favorite celebration gifts that you can choose for free. And if you're not familiar um, with celebration, you can choose one free gift for every $50 that you order. So there's some stamp sets to choose from some designer paper. Um, and so the um, simply marble designer paper is right here so this is a six by six designer paper and then right next to it is the awesome otters stamp set so this one is also free with a $50 order so if you would like to get them both to make the projects that we're sharing with you today then you'll want to place a hundred dollar order and you can do that with either mom or i whoever you normally shop with um here's a close-up of the designer paper this paper is really cool like i said it's six by six there's six different colors and you get eight sheets of each and it is double-sided with each color so um you have more of like a stone marble kind of look and then on the other side you have more of this like liquid it reminds me of like nail polish or silk um so two very different looking kind of marbles but each each paper is one color and then you get you know both patterns in that color so there's the stone side uh, and we've got balmy blue, smoky slate, highland heather, so saffron, um, blushing bride, and coastal cabana. And then there's the other side. So, so pretty. I meant to grab some samples. Um, let me let me quickly get from my bucket. So here's a sample of a card I made using a different celebration stamp set, the Catching Butterflies. And I used a little bit of that marble paper. I had another card, but I think I already sent it using the Calming Camellia and the um, purple paper. And then I have some other swap cards. This one is from Joe Williams using the Awesome Otters and the... Um, the marble paper. And this one is from your team member, um, Pam Denunzio, made that awesome card with the awesome otters. And again, using both that um, marble and the, the awesome otters. So, so cute. I have some more otter cards. Do you want to see them right now or later, mom? Go ahead and show. Okay. So here's a swap card from Margot Richardson using the awesome otters. And then two cards that I've made, here's one. We both, Margo and I and Pam, used that wave background stamp from the January through June mini catalog. And then here's another one that I did. I, I used the Sunshine and Rainbows designer paper with this one. And that Sunshine and Rainbows, it has some really bright colors, but it also has some really soft, subtle colors. So I love this pool party in there and this So Saffron. Just so stinking cute. And then this one, oh my gosh, I love this. This is the waterfall card. And we have a pattern from Stampin' Up! for this card. So we'll link up to that in the uh, video description for you so you can make this card. And it's got the measurements and you know how to cut it and everything and the directions to putting it together. I, I, I had something a waterfall inside, card in so long. Wow. I know, right? <laughs> Oh. The, the tutorial I found was from, I think, 2009. Um, <laughs> you know, it's so fun. We've been doing this for 20 years. And so it's so fun to like bring back some of those old favorites that like we yeah. used to do 20 years ago, 10 years ago. And this, yeah. this was one definitely that I just thought was, was fun. So anyway, so this uses both the otters and that, um, that marble paper and just, it's such a perfect combination. And I think the blue kind of looks like water, but I love that your project mom uses a different color and not blue. So let's flip over to your desk and you can right. show us your projects. Absolutely. All right. So I am using the blushing. This is blushing bride, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, and so the other side is this, as Julie kind of described it, kind of that I don't know, nail polish, silky. It 
to me, this has more flirty flamingo in it mm. than the pretty the uh, blushing bride. So and and I had I had trouble deciding. So I actually did one in both, but um, so I'll show you those when I'm done. All right. So what I'm doing with this card is I'm going to um, what I did is I die cut and I used oh what did I used always in, I used always in my heart and I used. Oh, I shouldn't have put these dies over here. Er, 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 er. <laughs> it's the coordinating dies anyway. And it is bouquet of love. So I'm using this label and I'm using this heart. Okay. I thought I was being organized. Speaking of which, let me digress one minute. I got really tired of not having everything all in one place at the time when I needed it. And I, I carried this over. So um, each station at my table also has one of these little baskets. I got them at Meyer. They were in a package of three for like three bucks. And in here, I put everything. I put some liquid glue. I put some of the um, seal. I put glue dots and dimensionals and tape. And um, not everybody has one of these because I don't have enough for everything. But everybody gets a pair of scissors. So they shouldn't have to reach for anything. And if there's anything else, I can add it the day of the class. Anyway. So, I love okay. that. Like that's so handy. I've kind of got my stuff like all over my desk. So I yeah. love just having like one spot for like one of everything so that you've yes. just got it right there. That's perfect. Yep. yep. Anyway. Okay. So what I did was I die cut out this heart and I'm going to take a piece of basic white paper and I'm going to stamp our otter in memento. I feel so giddy. I know what your card looks like, and I'm just like anticipating. <laughs> All right, I'm going to move the card base out of the way for a little bit. All right. So this is actually, oh man, look what I did. Oh no. Oh well, you'll get the idea. I'll put the you... tag. I'll cover it. No worries. There you okay. go. <laughs> so anyway, um, so this little guy it's going to kind of come out of the heart here a little bit. So it doesn't, I didn't really measure and pay attention to where I was putting it because I almost don't care. But um, I mean, and I, I mean that in the nicest of ways, not <laughs> that really came out wrong. <laughs> okay. So I am using some of our new <laughs> natural, um, natural tones blends. Oh, the, what a good idea. What numbers are you using? So I, for his belly and his face, I am using number 900. So it's the, a thousand is the lightest. Okay. So I am using um, this guy. And the natural tones blends are available in um, packs of two. So neighboring numbers, or yeah. you can get the entire set. And the entire set is $45, um, which is almost enough to get the awesome otters for free. So you can add on like a couple more Stampin' Blends and, uh, or the Color Lifter or something like that. And that'll, uh, that'll get you up to a free celebration Ooh. gift. So I'm using for his fur, 300 and 500. So I'm not using adjacent numbers. Yeah, so now I'm going to get blends all over me. Okay. <laughs> I'll do just a little bit of shading here. I'm not going to do a whole lot. Um, so, yeah, I um, I did notice when I was checking out some things that these are getting low. Low inventory? Yeah. Did you say yes? I did. Oh, my gosh. I hadn't realized. Yeah. Getting low. So, so if they'll you, definitely be restocked. It's not something okay. that is going to completely sell out, but it, I don't know how long it will be. It may be a little while for them to be restocked. So if you've been thinking about the natural tones blends, definitely make sure that you get in your order right away, especially if you want that order to count towards a celebration gift, because I'm guessing that if it does temporarily sell out, that it will not be back in time for the end of celebration. I would think you're right there, Julie. 
Okay, so I always love to see how different people use stamping blends. So you started with the dark color and you kind of added it where you wanted and now you're just blending it in. I love how it just like, yes. it blends so nicely. It looks so good. It does. And so I, I favor the burnishing, the, the circular motion mm. to kind of move the ink around and blend it. And I don't really know what color hedgehogs really are, but this works for me. Otters. It's an otter. Oh, it's an otter. What did I say? Hedgehogs? hedgehogs. <laughs> well, I've had people order some of these and the hedgehogs. Yes. You know, I don't have the hedgehog bundle yet, but these blends would be perfect for the hedgehogs too. You're right. Yeah. I don't, oh, well, let's not forget his little ear there. Okay. So there he is. I is love it. And then for his little nose, I'm going to do, use the light black. That almost looked blue from uh, on my screen. There we and go. I thought, well, that's interesting. But I think like a dark blue would work well too. It might, it might, yep. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to line my little guy up here. And I can move him, I can move this paper around a little bit. I guess it could be this way. It almost doesn't matter, right? Actually, I wish he was up a wee bit more. That's all right. Oh, come on now. Oh, don't you dare. <laughs> okay. I really probably should be doing the white. Why aren't you using your favorite glue? I don't know. It's there. I just <laughs> thought I would. <laughs> All right. That's close enough. Now I'll use my favorite glue. How's that, Julie? Will that make you feel better, babe? <laughs> oh, I mean, I, I use the stamp and seal all the time, so. I know. I know. I just, I you just to... seem like you were struggling. So that's why I was asking. Well, well, it just needed, I needed to pull up the sticky. All right. So grab my glue dots. Seriously. Um, so cute. <laughs> so I um, die cut some of these from, um, it's the dies that go with the sweet talk. Sweet. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So I wanted, um, I wanted some of these to. Are they all the same size or different sizes? Nope, these are all the same size, okay. I believe. Oh. They look all the same size, right? I think yeah, so. I think so. Yeah, they're not going to stick, right? Okay, now we're not going to do this today, guys. <laughs> oh my gosh. I know it's already after Valentine's day, but you could totally send this card to me. <laughs> I may do, I may get this to your dad. <laughs> what do you think? Hmm. I want to cover that goopy black spot there. Oh, but dear. okay. There's always bling. I was going to say, I've got some other ideas here. All right. So let me um, pop this guy up. Did you have some ribbon that you wanted to put under the tag? I do. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. So I decided to bring out, because this is in black, I wanted to just accentuate uh, the black a little I bit. I love that ribbon. I do too. And I don't think you mentioned it. That tag is from the same set that the heart, big heart is from, right? Yes, it is. It is. I thought I mentioned it when I showed the dice, but maybe not. Oh, I don't know. Maybe I wasn't paying attention to the tag. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Because sometimes I forget things that I want to say, and then I watch the video go, well, I didn't say that. I meant yeah, <laughs> that happens to me all the time. <laughs> all right. Oops, I think I put that on the wrong side. I don't know that it matters. Nope, 
I really want to ask you guys. Let's see that. I really do like this card. And yes, I know it's after Valentine's Day, but. Well, today is the 13th, so it's not after Valentine's Day. Well, this is true. This is and true. so somebody watching this at home can make a last minute Valentine using the otter you bet they and, can. and the heart. So this is still very relevant. And people, if, if it is too late, they can always make it and save it for next year. Or they can put a different greeting of love on there. Like the yes. First greeting, and of course, okay, I'm bringing out the bling. <laughs> Now, I, I just have to tell this story. Mom was showing me her card before we turned the recording on. And um, she said, yeah. yeah, I'm not sure if it needs bling. And I was like, what? Are you feeling okay? You're not sure if it needs bling? Of course it needs bling. Of course it needs bling. I didn't, I didn't know that you made cards that didn't have bling. <laughs> Occasionally. <laughs> Not every card calls for bling. This one definitely does. All right, where should this third one go? Uh, down on the right. Over? Yeah. Down here. Like so. There you go. All right, so now. Oh my gosh, so cute. Isn't that cute? It um, is. <laughs> um, so for the inside, I took some of the scraps. Um, and use the other little heart die in that same heart set and, and grab some of these. So I was thinking of just putting some hearts along the bottom for the inside. Is that too much? No, I think that's really cute. All right. I was debating, and then I was debating whether I should do this. Oh, yeah, either way. I kind of like it on the side, I think. Uh, that's what I'm just thinking. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. So let me put some of this stuff away here. And this I would use my ribbon. Clean up my mess. <laughs> All right, let's do this. And I always kind of start like in the center. I don't. That's a good that. tip. And then you know how much space you have on either side. Yeah. And I don't, I don't measure. I just kind of eyeball. Sometimes I get kind of in a little bit of trouble for eyeballing. But um, yeah, I had pulled some swaps down too uh, using this, but uh, we got the same swap. So oh. <laughs> I am going to show you another card that we did at Hostess Club. Oh yes, I love this card. But let me finish this guy first. Put him in the in the end. In the end. Oh, listen to me. Okay, put him in the inside. Uh, All right. Let me just squish some glue on here. I love to having that little basket. Oh, and I <laughs> headed out for hostess club, and every one of them were like, "Oh my god, I love this! I love this basket idea!" Blah blah. blah. Yes. So then they just put all their stuff back in the basket and my table's picked up. Exactly. Right. I love that it keeps everything tidy. Okay. That is just the cutest. I love it. All right. So <laughs> here's the other one we did for club. And we used the picture this dies. <laughs> and I used some of the blue, balmy blue. And so this guy that I used on this card, I just, we stamped him on a scrap. And then after we colored him, we fussy cut him and he's popped up on dimensionals. I love that. And yeah, it worked out really, really well. And then just this little guy peeking up <laughs> on the inside. So those are my latest two using oh, the cute. marvelous paper and the um, awesome otters because I mean, come on. Uh, yes. <laughs> All right. Okay, bring, bring out the other sample though, the Valentine. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you. <laughs> so I did this because I want to do it this or that. So in comments, let me know what you think. So I did one, I flipped it over and I used flirty flamingo. And I, I felt it needed a white layer between this, the paper and the card base to kind of make it pop. And I stamped this in flirty flamingo, but now I'm wishing I had done it in black. Yeah. And I used some of our flirty flamingo gold metallic ribbon. 
Yeah. I love the white border and I don't know. That's really tough. I kind of like the darker paper. Oh, I don't know. Put them, yeah. put them down next to each other. I should put some bling here. Which yes, I it definitely needs some bling. You can add the bling while I'm, um, yeah. <laughs> while I'm doing my card. Okay. So leave a comment this or that, which of these two do you prefer? It is really tough because they're both yeah. so awesome. I think that's the struggle with this paper is deciding which of the two sides to yeah. use. Yeah, that is so very true. Okay, well, are you ready for me to flip the camera to my desk? Yes, because I can't decide where to put this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's come over here back to Illinois. I love how we can just flip back and forth between <laughs> states. <laughs> I can do it so okay, so... I am going to use the blue one like water for this. And I thought it'd be so fun to make a shaker card. And I think, I think I might've shown this before, but I don't think I've done it on Sunday stamping. So I thought I would share how to make a shaker card with a clear envelope. Um, and we, oh, we did do a shaker card. Um, but it was like the whole card front was the envelope. Oh, do you remember oh. that? I can't remember Maybe. the stamp set. But this is a little bit different. So for this one, we're going to put the designer paper inside the clear envelope. Now, if you haven't seen these before, the clear envelopes are found on the same page in the catalog as like the vanilla and whisper white envelopes. Um, it's, it's pictured in the same thing and the item number is right there. So clear envelopes is item number 102619. And this package includes 50 of the envelopes. So this is what we use. You might see it in our videos sometimes when we're sharing a card sample, that's a swap. A lot of times we keep them in um, the clear envelopes to protect them in our, in our swap box. Okay, so I've got the designer paper. I put it all the way into the corner and now I'm just going to wrap the um the envelope and I'm going to like hug. Oh no. <laughs> okay. Oh, yes, okay before, wait, wait. yes, before I can seal it, we need to put the shaker thing in there. <laughs> oh my goodness. These are the sparkle and shine sequins. This is brand new in the January through June catalog. And it's actually part of the um it's on this the same page as the rainbow of happiness um so it's up there in the corner if you feel like you didn't realize that we had sequins that's where they're located in the january through june mini catalog um and it's got stars but it also has just like some iridescent and white and silver circles and so i thought that kind of reminded me of you know water and waves so i'm going to um Put it on the right side here. I'm just gonna take a take a little bit and put it in the um, put it in the card. <laughs> Make a mess. Um, I feel like you don't need like a whole lot. Sometimes if you have too much, then um, yeah. it, I feel like it's just it doesn't shake very well. So I'm just gonna add just a little bit like that. And now I'm going to seal the card. So I'm gonna wrap that. Um, wrap that flap really tight around the designer paper. And then I'm going to um, do a strip of tear and tape down the other side. And so this is the closed edge. And again, like I'm just wrapping it really, really tight. So I've hugged all the corners and sort of created this enclosed shaker piece. And so now I'm going to add some more tear and tape and I'm going to layer this onto a piece of white cardstock. And I want to make sure that it stays down really good. So I'm going to go all the way around the perimeter with the tear and tape. You know what I noticed, Julie, when you had it flipped over, it takes on the hue and the color of the blue the iridescent sequence. So it makes it look like they kind of match the color, at least on this on camera. Yes, I, I think it does like, because it's sort of like holographic and see-through. Yeah. Well, it, I think it does just have holographic uh, or iridescent things. I think just have sort of like a, a <laughs> little bit of a blue. I know I've <laughs> such a mess here. Um, and they're very staticky too. So 
They're just going to be on my floor, I think. You're going to so. find them up in your bedroom and in the bathroom. And in the right? <laughs> okay. So um, I don't think I told you, but my designer paper is three and a half inches by four and three quarter inches. And then I have a white layer that is three and three quarter inches by five. So I'm going to just take all that tear and tape off and layer it onto the white cardstock. And it is a little bulky, not only because we have the flap, but we also have the sequins. So uh, be generous with your tear and tape so that this doesn't pop off of the white, um, the white layer. This makes me want to break out my clear envelopes and sequins and make a card. No, right? We've had some fun sequins over the um, over the years, and. Um, I'm sure that I'm sure everybody watching at home has got some kind of loose sequins that they could use. <laughs> um, I went ahead and stamped and colored um, the otter who's swimming. And I also stamped and cut out the sentiment that says you are otterly awesome. So I'm just going to add that to the, um, the card base and then add the little circle on there. So besides the shaker part, this card is pretty straightforward. Um, you can of course dress it up as much as you want, but I, I love the, the movement of the shaker and that cute little otter. Oh, I was thinking about maybe adding a little bit of ribbon. I'm just, I wanna make sure this sticks really well. So did you use the natural toe blends to color your otter, otter? I didn't. I actually used crumb cake, light and dark crumb cake. And then I added um, some green for the fish, a little pink nose, and then a little blue on the water. Let me grab some ribbon. Um, that is such a cute card. Uh oh, I got two options. <laughs> when I walked over there, I was thinking like, oh, I really want to get this pool party. You know, it's sort oh, of great. like just very light. And I feel like it, it has sort of that like water like kind that. of vibe. Do you like that? I do. Uh, but then I saw this, the white glitter. <laughs> Use the blue because you can't order the white yet. It's well, that's up. true. The white is currently unavailable to order. Yep. This is what it would look like with the white. I think oh. I like the blue. Oh, man. <laughs> that's really hard. I kind of like the sparkle of the white, but let's mm -hmm. use the blue because you're right. We cannot order the white right now. Um, the, it is not orderable, which means only that it's temporarily out of stock. So Stampin' Up! has sort of gone into this no back order situation. And I know it's frustrating sometimes to have things not available to order, but I think that it's, it's better not to be able to order it than to order it and be waiting months for it. And that's kind of where well, we got to that point where people were oh. waiting. It's the supply chain issue, you know, those ships that are sitting off the coast yeah. and, you know, just and now the, the trucker, the trucks uh, kind of on strike. And I know it's Canada, but there's talk of it, you know, happening here. And so we'll see. So hopefully, um, hopefully things will, will straighten out in the next few months and we can get all of our, the stuff that we want. I think we've been pretty lucky. Like oh, I do too. That so many of Stampin' Up's things are available and we haven't really had that many problems. So no, um, we really haven't. And the thing too is that, you know, we can always use something that's similar. Oh yeah. And um, yeah, so it's it's all it's all good. I mean, I, it hasn't really affected me too much, I don't think. Well, let's face it, uh, as crafters, we, we have a pretty decent stash. Okay. Like <laughs> we're not fooling anybody, right? Like we are not. do we really need that, that white glitter ribbon? Cause we really don't have anything else that we can do. I mean, right. 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 <laughs> that is true. That is so cute. I wanted to angle it a little bit more. 
Oh my gosh, it's such a hot mess back there. But in front, it looks just fine. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. Oh, look at that. Oh. Oh. Great. <laughs> ah! this, is, this is my problem is I play around too much and <laughs> trying to fix it. Okay, push it down. It's done. <laughs> All right, there's my otter shaker card. Oh, oh my gosh. so cute. These otters are adorable. I'm really, really, really going to miss them. And if you don't have them yet, you have just like two weeks left to pick out your awesome otter stamp set or the Simply Marvelous designer paper or both. <laughs> so go get the things that you probably don't need. <laughs> Maybe the new natural tone stampin' blends or some designer paper or new tools, new adhesive, stock up on your cardstock. Actually, celebration is a really great time to stock up on cardstock and reinkers, especially for the in colors that are getting ready to retire in a couple months. You know what I just did? I renewed my paper pumpkin. Oh, yes. So that I could get um for I did it for a year, so I I got some free Stampin' rewards, and um, some celebration things, um, and I wanted to do it before the price goes up, because it, they are they're having because of the whole supply chain issue they're having to increase the price of the pumpkin paper pumpkin kits by just yeah. a few dollars. I'm gonna switch our cameras over. Hold on a second. Okay. Let's let's get so, you on there. There you are. <laughs> and so, we'll add me. Okay. Um, so, so yes, this is the time to do it. Yep. And oh my gosh, I was on the Stampin' Up! Um, demonstrator page. Did you see the little sneak peek of the next kit? I did. Oh my gosh, I'm really excited. So the kit for March for Paper Pumpkin <laughs> is inspired by the On the Horizon suite. And you know, you guys know how much we love that suite. Like I'm really excited about this paper pumpkin. And not only is it our favorite suite, but there's a bonus free yes. stamp set in the Ooh. March kit as well. And that's yeah. like, that means two stamp sets. Like there's the, the stamp set that you always get. And then there's going to be another stamp set in the March paper pumpkin kit. So uh, yeah, if you have not subscribed to paper pumpkin before, you definitely want, <laughs> want to get subscribed. I was waiting to say anything. I think they've done all the billing right now because sometimes people will adjust their subscription and then like it was actually for the previous month because they hadn't done the billing yet or something like that so um, I think it's safe now though that you can go ahead and subscribe now or renew or whatever if you want to get that um, kit so it's a card kit, kit too. what's that and it's uh, um I forgot what I was gonna say <laughs> a card kit is that what you were saying yes I mean that's yes I was gonna say it's it's a card kit but um, yes. So how many extra kits are you ordering? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I mean, I only need one stamp set, like one free stamp set. Um, so I'm hoping that I'll be able to just get refills. Usually the refills are available before the end of the month. So yeah. I, I might add an extra kit just in case to make sure, you know, that I get that. Um, but hopefully I'm, I'm, I'm banking on refills, but I also, sometimes the refills sell really fast. Yeah. And so like one way to guarantee is to, is to order two kits from the, from the onset. So oh, I haven't, I haven't decided yet, but paper pumpkin, like you were saying, get a prepaid paper pumpkin subscription right now. Um, cause you get celebration rewards and the prepaid subscription rates don't go up until March 1st. Um, so you can lock in the rate right now and you get celebration. So the, the rate increase it's honestly, it's not that much. It's no, really a pretty small increase. Yeah. I think it's going from 22 to 2350 or something okay, like that. I mean, it's, it's really, it isn't, I mean, yes, it's, it's not, your price. but if you want to save a buck or two, yeah, I mean, you can always what, buy a pack of paper with what you say. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Well, let's show off our cards. We were chatting and we didn't have our normal transition. Oh, they're so stinking cute. Oh my gosh. If you do not have these awesome otters, 
or the marvel paper you i mean you need them both i yeah. think you need them i think if so. you had to if you had to choose only one mom which one would oh, you boy. get to? oh 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 <laughs> i don't know i don't know i think i would get the otters they're yeah. just so cute i know i i feel torn i feel like the otters because they're so cute but the marble paper you can it's use universal. yes you can use it with so many different things so i don't know maybe yeah. maybe well you know i was looking at the paper and i was thinking as i pulled out this one the yellow oh i mean just think about die cutting out some flowers with yeah. it or punching out some daisies I don't know. I feel like you're changing my mind. I don't know. I don't know. So you would pick the paper if you could only pick one? I think so. I think so. <laughs> no, I don't We're know. We're so decisive. I know. Well, well, I'm glad that we don't have to decide. I'm glad that we can get... Yep. I'm glad that we can get both and we can, we have that option, but yeah. these both items are only available during celebration and will not be offered again. You will nope. not find them in the clearance rack. You will not be able to order them from Stampin' Up. All celebration gift items are um, exclusive to the celebration yeah. promotion. So yep. if it you have your fun. eye on either one of these or any of the celebration items, don't wait, make sure that you get your order in um, and get the things that you want before the end of February. Yes, I agree. Well, All I right, think we had enough. <laughs> There was just so much to say. I know. I just love crafting with you. So I, the time just like, it, um, it goes so fast. It's like, we always say there's a time warp when we get together. And I think the same is true when we get on Zoom. Like all of a sudden it's been 40 minutes and we're just like, well, yeah. so much for being short. <laughs> well, listen, we will let you go and get on with the rest of your day. We hope you have a wonderful week. Happy stamping. We'll see you next stamping Sunday stamping. This is really <laughs> bye everybody. See you bye, next baby. time. Bye mom.